my conditions to be able to do this race was that I knew that my son, when as soon as we leave the dock to go into the leg, that my son is in good hands and that he's getting the love that he needs. Everyone's always asking questions, oh, leaving your family behind and your son behind and, and on, on, on race day, on departure day, must be really tough. Yes, it is tough, but at the same time, because we, we know we've got the potential and we are really keen to show what we're capable of, uh, we're all motivated to get out there and go again. And all the girls have yeah, given up pretty much everything for this race. But for me, no, it's, it's not a sacrifice. It's, it's, um, that's what I do. And I'm very lucky to have a family that support me in this. Ever since before Ruben, my son, was born, I knew that I would still be racing offshore, doing long races. And even once I was a mum, so he's, he doesn't know anything else. And uh, he's always um, been on mum's boat or dad's boat because his dad is also a sailor and, um, and seen us sail off and come back. And there's, there's goodbyes, but then they, we always come back, so he's, he's, he's cool about that. <laughs> I'm very fortunate to. I can probably say have the best nanny in the world and yeah she looks she looks after Kyle when I'm away together with with his dad Darren and um, yeah I, I can leave the dock and I have a really comfortable and I'm very much at ease that he's left behind in very good hands. The life we lead and the race we do um, our families are part of the big race Volvo Ocean Race family and um, it's an adventure for them as much as it is for us. What I'm offering him by uh, doing this race and um, um, I think is something that will make him a richer person uh, later on in his life as well. So um, not only am I getting something out of this, but uh, I truly believe that it's also helping him. Yeah, the small sacrifices uh, are way outweighed by the, all the good stuff.